Podcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. You know, coming up in the next segment, I'm going to give the number out for folks that were out in Nevada to give their take on what you witnessed there of the thousand or so people that went over the line while the feds were saying, we're going to shoot you. And to see how the BLM tasered people, attacked people from behind the week before, that's why all the paramilitary folks showed up. Because people see women and folks being tasered and beat, we're sick of it. I mean, for the average cowardly bootlicker that thinks it's fun to beat up innocents, may, you know, maybe that's cool. For men, not, not, not tough guys, but men, seeing innocent people abused, whether it's Tiananmen Square or Nazi Germany, I see those black and white film footage of them marching those naked women with their babies into those pits and shooting them in Nazi Germany when they were invading Ukraine, Poland, other areas. And I mean, I get violently angry. Because I have empathy, ladies and gentlemen. And I think about how do you march naked women with babies in and shoot them in a pit? Well, you follow orders, I guess. Well, here, here's a little news flash for you. I'm not going to stand here and watch this. I'm not looking for a fight. I don't want to fight. I want to get my country back, and we're never going to be perfect, but we've been overrun by evil. And InfoWars is a testament. We're not bragging. I'm savoring the fact that we need to recognize the power we've got. You, the listeners, what you've done. We're not powerless, and that's why this event's so big. I'm going to try to recap it in the next segment and go to your calls. But, I mean, that's it. This is a victory on every front. And I feel a solidarity, a kinsmanship, a connection even deeper than blood with, with everyone involved in this, with the media out there fighting for liberty, with everyone involved. It is just so good. Justice is what the average person wants. Just like when you're driving to the countryside, and you see a beautiful forest or beautiful green fields or you see the crops and, and the crop rows and you see a beautiful sunset or you see fishermen hauling in their nets. It's a good feeling when I see a happy family with healthy kids walking in the park or when I see a grandpa with his grandson in their Labrador fetching a tennis ball out of a lake. It's that satisfaction of, for what's good that I'm willing to die for. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to just die in this fight. I'm going to smart as much as I can. I'm going to be as cunning as I can. What's the Bible say? As harmless as a dove, as wise as a serpent, or am I flipping that around backwards? Harmless, uh, as wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, walk softly, carry a big stick. I'm going to do everything I can to try to stop a civil war. I'm going to do everything I can to try to bring races and religions together for freedom. I'm going to do everything I can to try to build solidarity along the Bill of Rights and Constitution and due process and justice for our children's future. Because the older I get, I realize that I just grew up thinking everybody was honorable. I just grew up thinking everybody shook hands and did what they said they'd do. I grew up thinking everybody was like my daddy and like my mommy. And then I later learned a lot of people aren't like that. And it's time for those of us that come from honorable backgrounds and honorable families or people that have come from dishonorable families but have themselves transcended it to realize that it's up to us to take this world back. It's a very, very special time to be alive. And the victory that you saw at that event, there's going to be more events like that as people push back as they see victory. And the feds if they miscalculate and start shooting people at another Lexington or Concord are going to set the revolution off in our favor, which I don't even want that to happen because that's a, it's like A, B, or C. A is fix the country peaceably in a velvet revolution of ideas. B is they start the revolution with the moral low ground and we win and get the country back very quickly with, with minimal loss of blood. C is we start it on the wrong footing and they spin it, and it is a long, protracted war with tens of millions dead. I do not want that, I will guarantee you. <laughs> For a lot of reasons. Hell, self-preservation is one of them. But it's the worst course. But if it's the only course down the road, if we don't have any chance and no other options, well, it is what it is. Because it's better than living on our knees as dehumanized, technocratic slaves. 
From the front lines of the Info War, I am your humble servant, Alexander Emmerich Jones. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Broadcasting worldwide from FEMA Region 6. KMLN, Los Angeles, Clone Radio. We play the songs that sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. We interrupt this broadcast with an emergency transmission. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. I have sworn on the altar of God, eternal resistance over every form of tyranny. It's a spiritual decision if you don't believe in the spirit world, folks. It's a, it's a consciousness decision. That's the real value is wanting justice, wanting to be the best person you can be. Not wanting to be part of a globalist gang of, uh, of, of, of criminals. If you were out there, the thousand plus people that blocked the highway, that overran the feds, just yesterday evening in Nevada when they were saying, we will shoot you, we will kill you. I'd like to hear from you now. 800, well, the number is 800 259 during the week. But we produce everything out of house here in Austin, Texas. Uh, on the Sunday transmission, so it's 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539-ER. Again, that's 877-789-2539. I'd like to hear from the people that were valiantly there. David Knight is going to be hosting tomorrow. And again, I just said, David, would you like to host the show Monday? And he said, sure, why? I'm flying in Sunday night. And I said, well, I just think you need to host, don't you? Because <laughs> if I have you in here to interrupt you all day long and to tell what happened and speak about it, we want you and Josh Owens. Josh won't want to be in here for three hours, but we'll get Josh in for 30 minutes or so, maybe at noon. We've got guests tomorrow, unless it's a congressman or something, just, just move them. I want to just talk about this tomorrow and just give David Knight the floor and Josh uh, with their incredible courage, my reporters. This is exactly what has been laid on my heart all along, is to build a media operation and to find other patriots to build an organization to where we can have reporters be anywhere in the world when big events happen. And we're very close to the next phase to be able to get another 10 reporters or so. The problem is the process of going through them. The public nowadays is, well, you know how the public is nowadays. It's a, it's a Russian roulette situation, but we have got a lot of good reporters now. We've got Kit Daniels. We've got uh, Jakari Jackson. We've got Leanne McAdoo. We've got Darren McBreen, uh, we've got John Bound, uh, we've got David Knight, and then we've got Paul Watson that does reporting on the ground as well. Trying to get Steve Watson, who's just as smart as his brother out. He's got a degree in international relations and political science, uh, and you know, he just doesn't want to be on camera. Doesn't want to. And I understand that, but it's our duty to be on camera. It's our duty to be leaders. See, the people that are real leaders don't want to be on camera. 
The people that are really smart don't want to be running around. I mean, quite frankly, folks, I'm becoming reclusive. I don't want to be on air. I don't want people to know who I am. I don't want to do this, but I've got to. Because I've got a lot of hopes and dreams and, and a lot of ideas that I can't manifest properly. So if you can't do it just right, why do it? Well, it doesn't matter. We've, we're doing the best we can to quote the sergeant in full metal jacket. Sergeant said that Private Joker is silly and he's ignorant, but he's got guts and guts is enough. And in the final equation, I am just so blessed by my great family and by uh, you, the great listeners and our sponsors and our affiliates. And just to have these reporters and this great crew. CJ and uh, Chris Jordan and, 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 and Nico and, and the writers and just everybody. And I didn't mean to get off into this. I want to go to your phone calls. Uh, it's just that when you know politics and how the world works, what happened in Nevada is now going to spread to other areas where they're, they're kicking ranchers and farmers off public land everywhere who have the grazing rights certified, who have the farming rights certified. I mean, you got, again, 90% of Nevada, 80% of a bunch of other states. Texas has the least amount of uh, public land anywhere, and that's a good thing, in my view. And, uh, but people that were there before still had the grazing rights. This is a big deal to property rights, but it's a big deal to defeating the media. It's a big deal on the fact they tried to lie about what happened. It didn't work. It's just a, a major sea change. And, and believe me, I know in my gut when something's big. I've only freaked out one other time when we got the Copenhagen documents ahead of time and the secret UN documents about them fixing climate change and blaming humans for anthropogenic global warming. And I freaked out and said, this is it. This is going to derail their entire global taxation system. And people for about six months said, Alex, that wasn't that big of a deal. Now everyone admits that killed their whole main 50 plus billion dollar funding operation. They spent 50 billion the last 30 years pushing this. And we blew it to living hell on this show with Lord Moncton, who got the documents. We blew it to living hell. And Friday, when we got the documents that Harry Reid with the Chinese Communist government was taking over a 120-something mile swath, starting at Bundy's Ranch, I literally, literally was higher than a kite all day. I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking high, ladies and gentlemen. Because I love freedom. And I know these globals want to hurt humanity. We're going to kick their ass together. We are going to stop them. That's all I want. And they've told us that they've told us that we can't beat them. We're going to beat them. Believing we can beat them is a secret to it. And to see those people with the feds with their guns trained on them saying, we will shoot you keeping their guns at their side and marching saying, go ahead and shoot us. And when it does, we're going to shoot back, but only after you pull the trigger first. It was, it was literally Lexington and Concord part two, but the globalists backed off this time. And let me tell you something, they backed off because they're smart and they know humanity's got the power and they know in the breast of every man, woman, and child out there beats that idea of liberty. It is such a small cadre of evil people that want to control our civilization Finish up the video at the end where they cut the wires for TV viewers, radio listeners, all narrate it. So the video's up on Infowars.com. It's so important. Historic feds forced to surrender to American citizens. There they are, cutting the fence, even though the feds have guns aimed right at them. Ten feet away, so we're going to shoot you if you come through. And sorry, just because you're all dressed up in camo doesn't mean we're afraid. It's only the beginning of a long march to humanity's ultimate destiny. Look at the men with their machine guns backing off, walking back with their backs turned like they've got to worry about a crowd that walked with their guns down. And that's only a small group. They had snipers all over the hills, armored vehicles, helicopters, you name it. This is what humanity is. This is what courage is. God, watching this video, I can't wait for David Knight to host tomorrow. These are people that were tasering old women the day before. These are people with pleasure setting police dogs on folks. And now they're backing off because they don't represent America. They don't represent freedom. They represent the foreign banks. They're destroying this country. And we're sick of it. And there go the cows being released. 
told them, give us 30 minutes, we'll release them. They said, no, we know that's right down the road. You got 10 minutes. They weren't threatening violence. The farmers and ranchers just said,